so well uh, we are going to start our uh, series of neuroanatomy with a very basic lecture and which we'll be talking about uh, common terms and uh, uh, which will be used all across this series so let's start so central nervous system uh, central nervous system is actually brain and spinal cord you uh, are very much familiar with it so there is another term which is commonly used in uh, neuroanatomy which is a nucleus now this nucleus is very much different from nucleus uh, which is uh, used in cell biology uh, this nucleus means actually a group of neurons within a cns with a similar function and connectivity and neurotransmitters so actually in a neuroanatomy when we say nucleus we mean a group of neurons uh, within a cns so there is another term which is uh, commonly used in cell biology so not cell biology actually in uh, neuroanatomy uh, which is actually ganglia now ganglia is also a group of neurons now ganglia is a group of neurons outside central nervous system actually it is outside say, cns with similar function with the similar connectivity neurotransmitters so these terms are actually uh, uh, very much same but when we mean uh, ganglia we say these neurons are outside cns this is a group of neuron outside cns and we call nucleus when uh, neurons are within a cns so there is another term uh, which we use in neuroanatomy which is a trach now what is a trach uh, now trach is a bundle of axons bundle of axons traveling together uh, within a cns uh, we call it trach and uh, similarly there is a, a term called nerve nerve is also a bundle of axons it is also a bundle of axons but it is located outside brain and spinal cord as i mentioned earlier brain and spinal cord we call it cns so when we call nerve we call a bundle of axon outside brain and spinal cord it means that it is outside cns when axons bundle is outside uh, cns we call it nerve when it is inside cns we call it a uh, trach actually then there is a term actually synapse now synapse is actually a, a meeting point or a point of connection between two neurons uh, we can call it a junctional point actually which you can call it a junction also so it is actually junction so synapse so then there is a, a, another term which i want you to take in from this lecture is actually afferent afferent when we talk about afferent information afferent means arriving information and when we say efferent efferent mean the information which is exiting right then there is another term peripheral nervous system uh, actually it consists of cranial nerves and the peripheral nerves it is located in a periphery actually cns is in the center and the peripheral nervous system is in a periphery we'll talk we'll talk about it later on so uh, um, the, let's move on there is another term which we use very often it is somatic nervous system now what is a somatic nervous system actually it is a nervous system that regulates it is the part of the nervous system that regulates your motor innervation of skeletal muscles actually it will deal with the uh, motor plus sensory uh, innervation of both your skeletal muscle so it means actually skeletal muscles are voluntary in action so somatic system, nervous system will be dealing with uh, those structures which are actually voluntary in, uh, in function or voluntary in action then on contrary we have autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system actually uh, deals with the motor innervation of your smooth muscles and you guys very much know that smooth muscles and glands are actually uh, involuntary in action these are not in your uh, conscious control so autonomic nervous system will be dealing with uh, the involuntary actions so these are actually terms that will be frequently used in uh, this whole series so let's move on this is actually directional flow the afferent information these are dendrites actually afferent information is arriving in a neuron and here it is efferent information afferent yani arriving information and efferent yani exiting information so this is all actually a diagram which is showing you the directional flow afferent and efferent then this is the typical diagram as a typical diagram of a neuron uh, you can clearly see cell body here it is the cell body of neuron uh, you can clearly see nucleus is visible clearly and on cell body these projections outside projections these are called actually dendrites dendrites are actually those projections or projections in cell body that are responsible for collecting information that send information towards cell body that send information toward neuron and this this projection uh, we call it axon axon is actually responsible for sending information away from neuron so axon will send information away from neuron it is actually nerve ending you can clearly see it here it is a nerve ending and on nerve ending there will be another nerve ending here and here will be synapse or junction 
so there is another concept which i'll want to talk it about it is a concept of gray matter and a white matter now white is a white matter and white is a uh, white is a gray matter if we talk about gray matter gray matter is actually a collection of uh, uh, cell bodies of neurons gray matter is a collection of cell bodies of neurons actually and proximal dendrites so uh, wherever we use term um, uh, gray matter we actually mean cell bodies of neurons and a white matter what is a white matter white matter is actually exons a collection of exons and a, a myelinated myelinated exons and you know that myelin is a lipid and a lipid in white in color so we call it white matter so if we talk about brain in brain uh, gray matter is a place in uh, periphery you can uh, clearly uh, see visible in a diagram uh, it is uh, placed in the periphery and if we talk about white matter white matter in brain is a placed centrally you can uh, look it clearly here it is clearly visible here and uh, in contrary if we talk about spinal cord in uh, spinal cord it is a uh, vice versa uh, you can um, see the gray matter in center this is a gray matter placed in central position in a central and and if we talk about white matter a uh, white matter in a spinal cord is placed in periphery you can uh, look it here is uh, clearly visible here so that's all for today uh, so what i want you to take in from this lecture is actually basic uh, terms actually uh, these uh, two things you must take from this lecture afferent versus efferent afferent arriving information and efferent the exiting information gray versus white matter you must be very much familiar with these terms so thank you very much